Hello, and welcome to today's presentation. Today we will be discussing the main system requirements needed for installing Autodesk Max 2011. As you can see, I based the discussion around the main hardware requirements needed for installing and running Max effectively. As such, we need to discuss the processors, the physical memory or RAM on the computer, the various graphics cards we support, we'll have a special note on the hard drive requirements, the various operating systems that you can install Max on, and we'll have a special discussion on the Mac OS X itself. Firstly, let's discuss the processors, as they really are the key to the computer. Running a faster CPU generally means a faster computer. That being said, Max in itself only requires an Intel Pentium 4 1.4 GHz or AMD processor with SSE2 technology. The 64-bit version requires at least an Intel 64 or AMD 64 processor with SSE2 technology. Recommended or planning ahead, however, we suggest at least an Intel 64 or AMD 64 processor with SSE2 technology. What is SSE2 technology? This was actually introduced back in 2004, so most new, tech, new CPUs will already have this technology embedded within it. As you can see, there's a long list of CPUs that already has this technology. Our only concern is, older machines built prior to 2004 may not have this option enabled, and Max will not be able to run effectively. Next, we'll talk about memory and virtual memory. Max 32-bit version requires at least two gigabytes of physical memory, and 2 gigabytes for swap or page file. The 64-bit version requires at least 4 gigabytes of physical memory and 4 gigabytes of swap space. Looking ahead, or recommended, we suggest running at least 2 gigabytes of physical memory per core on your computer. As an example, if you run a quad-core CPU, we suggest at least 8 gigabytes of physical memory, or if you run a if you run two quad-core CPUs, we recommend at least 16 gigabytes of physical memory. Running this much memory on a computer will greatly improve the performance of the, not only the computer, but Max as well, and also enables you to interact with larger scene files effectively. Next, the graphics cards. Graphics cards are very key for good performance and interface with Max. Max in itself requires only a 256 megabyte onboard memory card that supports Direct 3D10 or 9 technology and OpenGL com compatible. If you have larger scene files, however, we recommend at least one gigabyte or higher with a Shader Model 3.0 support. A special note on graphics cards. In addition to several new features introduced to 2011, including the new Quicksilver hardware render feature, these require at least 512 megabytes. So investing now in a good card will provide more than just improved performance with Max. As a note, if you have graphics card issues or graphic interface issues, you can change the graphics mode via the Start Programs menu, and this may improve the performance of, of Max itself. Also, updating your video card drivers to the qualified drivers is always a recommended fix. For a full list of the graphics cards we support and the drivers we recommend, please visit us at autodesk.com slash 3dsmax-hardware. Next, a note about the hard drive space. Max in itself requires a huge amount of hard drive space for installation. Not only does the installation take 9 gigabytes, you need drive space for the download package if you decide to download it, as well as 16 gigabytes of temporary drive space during the installation. Now the 16 gigabytes will be removed after the installation, but the initial installation takes a huge amount of drive space. So please take this into consideration before installing. Not only uh, the installation, but the virtual memory is also recommended. So a large hard drive will go a long way at this point. As you can see, the operating systems we support are mostly Windows, all Windows. The 32-bit version supports Windows 7, Vista, and XP Professional. The 64-bit version also XP, Vista, and 7 Professional. As a side note, however, it should be noted that QuickTime codecs are not fully available on 64-bit operating system yet, not because of a Max issue, but because of the a limitation on the, the codec developers themselves. 
A workaround we have is to use the 32-bit version on your 64-bit machine. Next, a word about Mac OS X. If you'd like to run Macs on the Mac OS X computer, you need at least 10.5 or higher. Bootcamp version 2.0 requires at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. We realistically recommend 4.4 gigabytes or 30 for the 32-bit and 8 gigabytes for the 64-bit. 20 gigabits, 20 gigabyte of drive space for the Mac partition and 20 gigabytes for the Windows partition. The Mac virtualization on Parallels needs at least 4.0 or higher with 4 gigabytes of RAM, 6 gigabytes recommended, 8 gigabytes for 64-bit with a minimum of 40 gigabytes available. Real, realistically, 100 gigabytes is recommended. So for the next, we have the little bits and pieces that you may need to run Macs. The DVD-ROM, if you choose to install via a DVD. An internet connection for web downloads or subscription access. If you choose to use the Macs composite media cache, we require at least 10 gigabytes or 200 gigabytes recommended. And the three button mouse with the drivers. I've included some additional links here for more information. Most importantly, the Macs qualification charts and the Macs product, product page. You can visit us at autodesk.com slash Macs to get more information. To summarize, following or installing Macs on the recommended hardware will ensure proper and full functionality of Macs 2011. Thank you. Have a good day.